Is there somewhere where I can try this on? Oh, it is just your size. Is, is it? Is it me? Yes. Is it? Does it bring out my eyes? <laughs> Hello everyone. It is a beautiful day today in West Tennessee. It's 76 degrees outside. And I should have the windows down, but since we had a cold snap and now it's warm again, the bugs think that it's spring, so they're all out in force and I just hate bugs. I hate them. I'm on my way to Walmart. You wanna go? Okay, come on. Okay, here we are. Uh, gotta pick a buggy, as they say in the South, without a bad wheel. I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay. I know. Always like to just visit the ice cream aisle. Should I get the chocolate? Should I? Chocolate's always good. I, I haven't eaten ice cream in a long time. Should I get it? Haagen Dazs is really good. All right, I'm doing it. I'm getting it. All right. Uh, since it's Halloween time, I got to get some candy for the kids for Halloween. So. What do they like? You think they'll like uh, whole carrots or cream corn? Which one do you think? Cream corn? I get them both. I got a lot of kids in my neighborhood. Now, of course, I have to get my barbecue flavoring delivery devices, which is this. It's really just a salt delivery system. This is how I stay fit. I know. Foiled again. Mm. I don't play sports, but I do need a cup. <laughs> I know there's kids watching, so I won't say the punchline. I'll just show you the product. You can make up your own punchlines. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably prefer a larger. Did I cross the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, even though I don't have children, I enjoy baby food. Is that weird? This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few more there. Yeah, well, I don't really have a couple more there. And of course, you can't eat the baby food without the proper spoons. <laughs> My little Henry boy is sitting at home being a very, very good muffin. I need to get him something special. Why do they make animal food look like people food? Look at that. Those are dog cookies. Oh yeah, because it's not the dogs buying it. Henry loves pig ears. Straight off the pig here in Tennessee. Do people still buy DVDs? Even though you can download movies? Aw, oh, here we go. We got some drones. The warrior drone. Look at that. Yeah. Huh? Here's the secret to selling a drone in Walmart. Put it in a big box. Makes it look substantial. What do you think, should I buy this? No idea. Yeah, no, you don't think I should? No idea. All right, I'll get two of them just to be safe. Hey, UK viewers. Yeah. Right in the aisle of Walmart, America. There you go, huh? You can pick up your laundry detergent, tube socks, and a Remington. And there's something for the kids. Okay, I just thought of an awesome pun, but I've got to go all the way across the store for the first part. Let's go. Okay, part one. Now back to the other side of the store. Okay, here we are. Second part of the pun, you ready? The other day, I was arrested for assault and battery. Right, anyone? Anyone? Huh? Okay, while I have you here, my real reason for bringing you to Walmart is to just give you a different setting because I wanted to take you up very high to somewhere in Nashville. It's a tower. Here's where the tower is, and you can see by air map that it is plenty far away from the airport. 
I've been wanting to film this tower for a long time. So we went out and did it. This tower is a very high tower. And you can gradually increase your altitude as you approach it. So we got up to the tippy tippy top. Beautiful, beautiful day. The sun was setting. And then stuff started happening. Things were initially fine as we headed towards the towers here along the interstate. I want you to notice how many bars I have there. GPS satellites. Okay, so that's fine. Everything's good. But then as we get level, things start to happen here. We've got a whole bunch of warnings. Satellite positioning off. No GPS. Zero. Nothing. And despite having no GPS, I still wanted to get the shot. So as long as I had control, I was going to do that. I'm used to flying in Addy mode, so it was no problem. And as I came around here, trying to get the sun in between so it would silhouette, that's when the gimbal started getting goofy on me. stay above the guy wires here. So it starts leveling out and that's fine. Continues to give me these warnings that I have no GPS. And the entire time I did not lose control. If I had lost control even for a second I would have discontinued the flight. So I wanted to get away from this very powerful transmitter and try to regain some of my telemetry. One of these towers belongs to American Tower Corporation and the other set of towers belongs to Trinity Broadcasting Network. A thousand kilowatts of TV broadcasting power. So it's starting to level out again and I'm getting my confidence back. These warnings continue to pop up, but I still have control of the bird, so everything's good. Everything's fine. Take a look down here. Make sure I'm not over the road. It was a beautiful day to fly. I'm trying to get a close-up here of these emitters. And once again, it starts going goofy because of all the RF and then there was a little bit of wind so I want to start making my way back even though this is absolutely gorgeous with the sun coming over the hills I wanted to start making my way back and then I get this message what is that you know things are bad once the spaces are removed from a warning message so that was when I was like okay I'm out of here let's let's head back I'm in between the two towers now and thought the best thing to do in any situation ever, and this is good advice, if you're in trouble, just go up. And as soon as I started making my way back and away from the transmitters, the GPS started coming back to life. And I started my descent and headed back towards home base. No problems, all is well. Uh, hang on, gotta do one thing. Maybe another day, my friend. Mm, not quite yet, not, not quite yet. So I was in Walmart about a year ago and someone in line asked where they could find the vanilla envelopes. Yeah. Is it weird that I bought baby food but I don't have any children? Um, no, I heard some people feed it to their dogs. Their dogs? Really? I never thought of that. Do you eat it yourself? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I like it too. It's good. I mean, I don't buy it, but I'll eat it if I had it. <laughs> yeah. If you're starving. Yeah. It's just like apple sauce. That's right. Good. I'm not weird. Well, that was fun. Thanks for going shopping with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. A book. And but. Now, 
she won't date me, but her sister will. <laughs> <laughs>